going to be the other half of the video since my phone started ringing. We had just uh, removed the old valve and we had secured it down with straps and a blocking system so that we could pull on it to break it free. It does have a lock tight on it. We uh, did explain that the tank needs to be hydrostatically tested after it's replaced and the reason for replacing this valve was this high side line or valve is stuck in the open position and the copper valve turns all the way through the center but this never goes off. So we didn't want to risk losing our Freon to the atmosphere and damaging the environment and being irresponsible with our license. So we got a new valve as opposed to a new tank. These tanks are, I believe, are supposed to be tested about every five years. So we will uh, get this hydrostatically tested afterwards. So we had just looked inside the tank. It was clean. It looks perfect. It's brand new. It's dirty, but it's not really very old. And we're going to put this new valve in here and start tightening it up. So just keep in mind when you tighten this dude up to make sure on your final round that you do have it here where you can actually operate it and work off of it and you don't want to back it off once you've tightened it down so kind of plan that accordingly on your way in. If for some reason you try this on a propane tank make absolute sure you not only evacuate the tank Actually, I'll, I'll start by saying if you're not a licensed professional on propane, don't even try it yourself. But if for some reason you do, non-ferrous uh, equipment to take the valves out means don't cause any sparks. Uh, it needs to be non-friction. You need to be grounded. You need to pump your propane tank with an inert gas after you pull it down a vacuum and so on and so forth. It's probably better just to get it. It's a changing for another propane tank for uh, 50 bucks, wherever they cost, be a lot safer. These val these tanks here are 120 to 150. I saw as high as 198. And because it's not that old, we just decided to change out the, uh, the valve assembly. And we'll clean the tank up and go down to Dallas and get it tested. So that's it. I'm going to finish tightening it up and get it back in, back in working order. Thanks for watching. Craig's Carpet.